Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This prophet, Yaquim, and God just put this word on my spirit that they take your kindness for weakness. Man, they take your kindness for weakness. And I know what that is like. See, when you are a chosen one, a child of delight, you are generous. You are loving. You are compassionate. You have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And when you operate in those fruits, people can see that off you. People can feel that off you. When you as soon as you walk in the room, that's why people are so comfortable coming up to you just to talk to you. They express their deepest, darkest secrets to y'all. Because you just... You're around, you're surrounded by that comfortable environment. You're a safe place for a lot of people. But see, the problem with that is that people start to feel obligated to that energy, to your aura, to your presence. And since you're so kind-hearted, so forgiving, so merciful, they think they can just take, take, take whenever they see fit. An analogy that God gave me was David and Saul. See, when Saul first met David, he loved him very much. Because David, you know, he was playing songs and hymns for Saul. And he was being healed by his music. And David was doing everything that Saul wanted him to do. But then it turned to hatred when he realized that David was next to be anointed king. Then he seek to kill him. He was trying multiple times, I believe three times, to kill David. But David was still full of love and compassion. He even had an opportunity to kill Saul, but he still didn't kill him. Because he loved him. He loved him. And some of y'all are the same way. Meaning, not saying you're trying to kill anybody, but you had the opportunity to do people how they want to do you. You had the opportunity to cause harm on others' lives, but you choose not to. You choose to rise above. You choose to continue to better your own life, to better yourselves, to put yourself first, to not stay down to their level. And that even bothers people even more. That makes them mad even more. Because you're just showing the difference between you and them, for you are set apart, a child of God. Amen. And I got a scripture for y'all in Luke 6 and 35. And it says, But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be like the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. See, you are a child of the Most High God. For even God is kind to the unthankful and to the evil. And something that God showed me, he revealed to me over time, that we all have to remember that once upon a time we used to be in the world as well, or maybe you still in the world who watching this video. And we didn't wanna hear the gospel. We didn't wanna hear people preaching to us about Jesus and God. Maybe was we maybe we wasn't so rejecting to it, but we were still trying to do our own thing. We were trying to be conformed to the world. So 
don't take things personally. Just know we battle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and principalities, powers and rulers of darkness of this world. Know how to create those boundaries for yourself. Because if you don't, people are just going to take, take and take from you until you have nothing left to give. And then you won't notice your own personal life falling apart. You won't have enough for yourself. You won't have enough to give to yourself. But luckily you have a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he will lift you up and establish you better than before. So set those clear boundaries for the people around you and even for yourself. For in this season, spiritual warfare has increased. And God just telling you today, they take your kindness for weakness, but still be that child that God wants you to be for he is protecting you, providing and guiding you today. And always remember that God loves you, I love you, and Jesus Christ loves you so much more. Peace and blessings, and God bless you.